If you haven't watched part one, I highly suggest you go back and watch it right now. But in part two, we're gonna be getting Legos, building them into a Lego crankbait that actually functions and going to catch big bass. In the last episode, you guys saw Fletcher put together this unique bill for the front of the Lego crankbait, and it actually ended up running in the water perfectly. We're gonna hop right into this, show you guys the underwater movement, also show you guys Lego crankbait compared to a normal crankbait, and then we're gonna go catch a big fish. Let's get it. Hey Noah. Yo. What is this? I put some work in, a little overtime. Are you, like you actually, you this, did this last night. This thing's gonna swim, I'm telling you. I'm excited, we, we gotta go test this out. I'm, no more talking, we testing it out, baby. This is what you've all been waiting for. You're about to see some underwater footage of the finished Lego crankbait with the modifications that Fletcher added to it. We're very curious to see if this thing is going to ride perfectly or not. Now that we have a regular shape bill on the end, we think it's gonna ride perfectly and give it that realistic crankbait feel. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Now that you've seen the Lego crankbait in action, it's time to compare it to an actual crankbait and see how it stacks up. So if it wasn't clear in the build montage, recrafting this bill, I wanted to kind of explain to y'all exactly what I did. So I took some paper and etched out a bill shape. Then I took that paper, cut it out, glued it onto the Lego itself. And then I used that as an outline. I took a grinder, grinded this thing around the edge to make it match that bill shape perfectly. And what else I did was I went and tried it after that, I threw it in the water to see if it would run, and it wouldn't run. That's because we had it tied up here. And I took a closer look at crankbaits and realized that they're tight on the bill. So I took this white Lego piece right here, and I just the best one I could find where I could run the line through, and super glued it right on there, ran the line through here, ran it back up here, and tied it on here. So now the point of tension is right there on the bill, like if it were tied off there, but we got it anchored here just in case this white piece comes off. We don't want that to happen. So now this thing is running from the bill and I also put a bunch of like clear caulk on the bottom of this thing. Cause if you take a look at a regular crankbait, they have this nice little rounded bottom right here and that just helps stabilizes it and helps it keep a nice wobble action while it's moving. This thing is ready to roll and we're about to cast this thing out into the depths and hopefully a big old bass is gonna come chomping. We're coming up on these rock pilings right here and there's a really good chance I could catch one on the first pass. Oh, man, that would be just <laughs> insane. And there it goes, it's diving like a champ. Let's see if something comes up and swap. Dude, no way, oh. there's no way. Oh. You, you oh. actually had one first cast? <laughs> not, I don't know if I just hit a pipe or what, but I had a, there was a little thud. There was definitely a thud. Oh. Come on, bro. You playing with me. Dude, I'm not even lying. Dude, we were already talking. This bait is just kick butt, man. You got, you got me fooled. You got me fooled for a hot minute. If you guys have watched this far in the video, first thing I would like to say is thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button if you'd like to see more Lego build videos. We ended up not catching anything this day. I got stuck in the house editing part one of this series and Fletcher actually went back out by himself and you will not believe what he caught. Guys, I am not kidding you when I tell you that this fish is a monster right here. This one is every bit of five or six. Holy smokes. I don't know how well y'all can see them, but there's two bass right there swimming along. Hit the Lego lure. You know you want it. You know you want it. He's just nosing it. He's nosing it. Oh, he came from the trees. He's right there. Hit it. Please. Oh, oh my God, he just nipped it. He just nipped it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
Please, 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 please. Please eat it. Please eat it. So I ended up launching the boat because I ran out of bank to fish and all the fish over there I just could not get them to fully commit y'all saw them they were coming right up to it and just nosing it nosing it like one of them just nipped at it a little bit but man I know I can get one in here they're swimming everywhere I just that's all I had to fish so now I got access to all of that and it's going to be go time only ran into one little small problem though and uh, that is all these sand spurs really great fantastic a hundred of them good shit Here's one right here. He's looking at it. first cast once I got on the boat. Oh, come on. He's oh, this one's aggressive. There's two right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I know y'all can see those on the GoPro. You have to be able to. Let's just take one more look at how good this thing looks underwater in a real pond. Oh my gosh. Oh, you won't do it right here in front of the boat. Come on. Come on, I know y'all can see that bass directly blow this thing. Oh my goodness. Come on, please hit it. So many bass are interested in this thing, but they just won't fully commit. We're just having a stare contest. We're literally having a stare contest. Dude, this is unreal. These two fish are right here and they're just hanging out. We're just having a freaking party over here. I know one thing's for sure. The fish in here definitely can't hide from me. I will find every last one of them if I have to. And we're gonna try throwing this crankbait in front of literally every single fish in this pond. Man, I swear, these fish must have stepped on one too many Legos as a little fry. Ugh, they do not want to bite this thing. Got one, got one. Oh, no, no, no. He came off, he came off. Oh my gosh. They like that jerkbait action. That's the second one that's gone after it, after the jerkbait action. Going, going, going on the crankbait. Going on the Lego crankbait. Let's go, let's go. It's a nice one. Oh my God. I literally had to leave that there, see it on the ground and he was nosing it forever. Oh my God. And it's a really good bass, guys. It's a really good bass. This one's every bit of four pounds. This could be five. Holy smokes. You'll have no idea how long I've been going at this trying to get a fish to bite. Oh, my GoPro died. Wow, I was trying to get this fish in for y'all. Holy smokes, hold on one second guys, one second, one second. The GoPro died. Oh, hold on, come here, come here, come here, come here. I need, I'm gonna use my net, I'm gonna use my net. Oh, oh stay down, stay down. Oh. Hey guys, it's a tank, it's a tank. Holy smokes, come here, come here. Let's go, guys! No way! Will y'all please take a look at that? That is insane. So much hard work went into catching this fish. We gotta call Noah. My hand is, <laughs> my hand is literally shaking right now. I'm so excited. This is a beast, bro, no bro, bro. <laughs> look at this tank. <laughs> look, look at this tank, dude. I literally, I had to crawl it. I literally paused it. It was sitting there in one spot for maybe like 30 seconds, and he finally went and nosed it and grabbed it. I probably cast at him like six or seven times. Dude, this gotta be, it's probably close to five. It's a beast. It's a beast. That's, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> 
we gotta throw her on the scale. We gotta see what she weighs. Well, somehow the scale made it out of my boat and I don't know where it's at, but I'm telling y'all this fish is five pounds all day. <laughs> Just an incredible fish. I can't believe I caught this on a Lego lure. So please guys, if you're enjoying this video, drop a like and subscribe. You don't see this anywhere else. Wow.